them Camaros. You got the. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel. Cletus and Cars, April 22nd, Bradenton, Florida. More information in the description below. This is for you, Cletus. I'm doing it for Dale. Woo! That right there is Mark from Street Effects. He's got a Lamborghini Huracan, and clearly he does it for Dale. So he just fired up a YouTube channel. I want you guys to go over there and give him a subscribe. It's gonna be a really cool channel. If you check out his content, I mean, right off the bat, it's sweet. So give him a subscribe. That channel's gonna be awesome. Back to the Bald Eagle machine. Because my tires are getting low and I'm making more power, it's time to put a better tire on the car. So what I did recently was bought some C5 Z06 Corvette wheels. They're 18 inches and I put some bad <laughs> big old drag radials on them. Now the Corvette, man, she's gonna hook up good. Now, now we're going from a 20 inch wheel that's currently on the car to an 18 inch wheel. So we're getting a taller tire and it's also a much grippier compound. Here, check it out. I just picked up some C5 Z06 Corvette wheels off Craigslist, put some tires on them. As you can see, they're not really plastic dipped great. Guys here at Sharp Customs in Tampa, they got a nasty truck. They're gonna get these fixed up. Powder coated gloss black. They will look a lot better when they go on the Corvette, especially with these big old meaty tires. <laughs> For those of you who haven't recently seen the Baldi machine on its stock wheels, I think it looks awesome. A lot of people say I need to get wheels, but nah. We're sticking with what we got for now, plus the C5Z wheels, but this is what it looks like before I put those C5Z wheels on. All right guys, so here's those C5 Z06 wheels. Some big meaty ET streets on them. These Mickey Thompson's tires are really popular in the streetcar world. So there they are propped up next to my stock wheel. It's obviously a way different looking face, but um, you can just see the tire is so much taller. We're gonna be able to run a real low pressure on that and put that extra grippy compound to work versus you know on a 20 inch wheel, you don't have much sidewall or, or tire flex to work with. So I'm really looking forward to how much traction the old Bald Eagle machine is going to be able to get on these brand new Mickey Thompson ET streets and C5 Z06 wheels. So I just dropped the car off the jack and already you can see just how much more aggressive these are. I mean, RIP my fender if I was still on stock suspension. I mean, I damaged it before, but if I weren't on coilovers and put these on, these fenders would be toast. Here's another before and after shot. Here's with the C5Z wheel. You can really see that overhang. And here's the other side pretty much completely flush 
barely any overhang from the tire. So here's a great side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. You can see here's my R888s. They're very worn out. I mean, maybe just a little bit left for a huge burnout. But again, very worn. These babies, nice and wide. They're actually a little bit more narrow than the R888s I used to run. But I mean, they're a lot meatier, a lot grippier compound. And like I said, these will flex to the road, you know, when they're on a lower pressure and a smaller wheel. So it is gonna be a good beneficial thing for the Bald Eagle machine to run these more traction. So the r eights are off of both sides. We are full blown on the drag radials. I'm a little worried. I mean, the car is pretty low for how tall these tires are. All right, so I'm gonna pull the car on the driveway, torque down the wheels, get some cool shots, and we'll go take it for a drive. All right, here we go, test number one. Now the car does articulate the most in the driveway, so boy, oh boy, if she's gonna rub, she's gonna do it now.